All right, where I left off, I'm now on my, my last reference layer. And I am using my lasso and then just deleting away from that layer. But I have to make sure I'm on the right layer in order to erase from it, right? And I'm just using the lasso. There's a great trick here. I use the lasso when I want it to be nice and sharp. But you'll see under the lasso options, there's this setting called feather. And the default feather, I believe, is zero pixels. But if you do zero pixels, wherever I, I set my lasso down, it's cutting between the square pixels and it's having to make a decision of which one to use. So it can be a little harsh sometimes. In extreme foreground, like my mushrooms, that can be appropriate. So that's the difference between uh, zero pixels and one pixel. So I often just use my, my lasso in compositing and I put it on a feather of one pixel, which means it softens one pixel around where I select. So it's really a three pixel feather. And then sometimes when you're in the background, you, can, you might even do like a five pixel feather. So here's with the one pixel, you'll see it's a little bit softer. And if I want to, I can just use my arrow keys, nudge that selection in if I didn't get quite close enough. And then sometimes you screw up like I did here and I cut off the top of that mushroom. And that's why we learn by doing. Now, once you have a selection, you can always edit the selection. You can hold down Option You'll get a little minus key next to it, and that will subtract from your selection. So if I cut something out now, and if I hold down shift, you'll get a little plus sign next to your lasso tool. You can add in your selection. So for this, I need to be zoomed in a little bit more when I lasso, if I want it to be really accurate. But again, we're just doing concept work. We're going for the overall composition and tone. So at this phase, the art director is not going to fire me because I don't have an edge refined yet. Most of the time, concept artists have to, to give a setting, a setting uh, pitch, and they might get one or two days to build it. And it can be as complex as, like, what is New York going to look like after a thousand years of climate change? How close will the moon be as it's pulled into our gravitational field more and more in a thousand years? Ah, I keep hitting the wrong button. I keep hitting uh, shift instead of subtract because I'm trying to subtract from the selection I already made add more of this in. There we go. So zooming in does matter, but I try not to zoom in too much. In fact, I kind of have a rule. Right now I'm zoomed in 300%. I try to have a rule that I never zoom in more than 200% because I don't want to be too perfectionist. So whatever works for you, but don't get hung up on tiny details. But with that said, the feathering, at one pixel is very helpful for making these direct lasso selections. And this is an incredibly complex shape, this mushroom. So that top edge, I've done a chunk of it. Now I can erase that. I have to be on the right layer. Remember, selections can move between layers. And now that's a pretty good cutout of that edge. And I've got you know the, the round of that arch, which is important. And I can hit Command-D to deselect. 
and I can continue. I might want to cut a little window here. Again, it's organic. I can kind of make my shape. I want to see a little bit of that pond behind. And then do I want to preserve the delicate spider webs? I guess so. The pain though. Means I have to cut around them. And they're so straight. So this gives me an opportunity to show you some other lasso options. So underneath the regular lasso, the freeform lasso is the polygonal lasso. Polygonal lasso is not that useful except for straight lines. You click and then you drag and you get a straight line. Then you end your point and it will take out a, a big chunk like that. The problem with it is you have to end where you started. Otherwise, this keeps going forever, but that can give you very clean straight lines. The magnetic lasso is one that's kind of made for this purpose, so let's give it a try. It can kind of stick to an edge as you ride along, along it. And it depends how fast you go and how contrasted it is, and it's not going to be as accurate as doing it freehand, especially with a tablet. But when you have a lot of contrast, it can be pretty good, as long as you don't rush it, like so. And again, you have to finish it where you started it, which is a bit of a pain. Okay, And then I can delete with the one feather. And I've got that little spider web still there, preserved. There are other tools like the quick selection tool. It's with the magic wand. The object selection tool. Sometimes they work. They're a lot like the magnetic lasso, but when you're doing with dealing with subtlety, they're not always going to make the right decisions about what what the edges are. So, I just want you to know the tools. Make your own decisions about what works best. Now, if you have just a blue sky that you're trying to get rid of, if you have an, an even background, you can make use, this is kind of an example, of the magic wand. And you're going to turn contiguous off and then select. And 32 is a good tolerance. And then you can always hit shift and add to it the things it's missing. Right, like this bright white, this green. And this is selecting similar pixels. But if I hit delete, I'm going to lose a lot of content that I need. So instead, I like to use the magic wand and then use my eraser on that selection. And it works like a stencil. Sometimes better than others. But sometimes that can speed up the process, but it often will leave kind of digital noise. So I'm just going to stick with my good old lasso. Also, by drawing my own edge to these things, and then cutting them all out at one feather, it helps to uh, 
kind of bring forward some of the, the focus pools that are in the original macro photography, which helps make these mushrooms look bigger and more fantasy. So this cleaning up can be a lot, but you can see how that's really making sense. Now this is a much easier kind of transition here from texture into texture. This is just where I use my eraser at 100% opacity. And I can start blending these different greens together and revealing this little stream underneath because I've got a lot of overlap that I want to use. And by using the tablet, I can be pretty directive about how big that eraser brush is, how much I'm getting rid of. Now, whenever you have water in concept art, you have to be aware of reflections and shadows. Lots of headaches that I'll, I'll deal with as I'm finishing this up. Or I might have to revisit once I um, am using this to put a creature into. Once I've gotten rid of the hard edges, then I can use that low opacity brush and kind of work between the two a little bit. especially where the focus is low. So just a, instead of just having one texture all of a sudden give way to another, I can kind of spread it out. Like this plant is slowly taking hold. That's why it's so important to match the colors and the lighting and everything first. So that you can just use the best traits of all of your reference. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to just use my lasso. I'm at 25%, so I'm not even zoomed at full resolution. It's because I'm going to make kind of some rough cuts for expediency here. So we're almost done with the time I've given for this demo. We want to submit something to the canvas beyond just our sketch. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lasso, or rather my magic wand, select that really strong green. You can see it there. Hold down shift. Try to get the big range of greens that are underneath the stalks of these mushrooms. And now just really, really subtly with my eraser at like 15%, 13%, I'm going to start knocking those back, just those greens, so that they transition into the mid middle ground a little bit better. So again, using the magic wand, as a stencil for racing. It's not a perfect tool. Definitely can get things wrong, but 
If you just use it as a stencil, it can be really